no matter what you say about Fresh and Fit, they have saved more lives single-handedly in the West than any other podcast ever. Fresh and Fit is saving more Western men's lives than any other podcast. And that's what pisses off the haters so much. That's what pisses off the soul boy so much. When you go to the religious angle, I can understand the criticisms. Uh, but I do think it's important because it shifted so much in America where the normalization of OnlyFans, of girls being prostitutes. Like it, it, over here, it's like backwards to think that you could be in a relationship with a public online prostitute. If you read the Quran, that's one of the sins that's punishable by death. Prostitution is like one way ticket to hell. And now it's normal for people to be in relationships with these girls. So it's necessary to have a show like Fresh and Fit highlight this problem and also tell men by, and you know, through clickbait, by having them on the show, stay away from this. Because if you get into a relationship with a literal walking demon of a woman, your life is going to be ruined. It's the quickest way to, to destroy your empire, to ruin your work ethic to make you lazy, to make you sad. It's the quickest way to ruin you. If anyone thinks that Fresh and Fit saved anybody, I really wonder how smart you are. The only thing they did was hijack much smarter men's information about women, dating, and the ways that people out there are screwing you. The only smart thing they did was tell it to hoes to get guys to watch. And the numbers don't lie, because when it's just those two dumb idiots talking, they get a quarter of the views. And it's never been hard to figure out why, because they don't believe what they're saying. They tell you one thing, but then they do the exact opposite. And this latest scandal proves it once again. And no one should be surprised that Fresh got some only fangirl pregnant. He's always been the simpiest guy marrying single moms and whenever he does pipe up in the show he's usually pushing back against the stolen information that Myron's saying. These guys have never been about helping men. They're about grifting off of them. They're basically the male versions of OnlyFans girls who instead of selling their bodies sell repackaged PUA courses disguised in women bad and stupid shows. And it shouldn't surprise anyone that the ultimate grifter Sneeko hops in to defend his other grifters. I get so mad that all these literal cucks and by all other accounts losers can come on here and say we're saving men. You haven't done a damn thing besides line your own pockets and give clout and wealth to the hoes that you pretend to detest. These people are just parasites. Only interested in taking money from you while they do the exact opposite of what they're telling you. Like getting in a relationship with only fangirls. It's really sad a place like this that was supposed to help men navigate what to do when the life they were told that was supposed to happen doesn't. Just turns into a place that funnels you from one dead end to another. People like this Sneeko, fresh and fit, have no real accomplishments or any notable skills to speak of and in any other time would be working dead end jobs. And really this is just a testament to our society that we can platform and raise losers like this to astronomical wealth and social power when they really have done nothing for most of their life before men had to do great feats like invent revolutionary technology, kill thousands of men in battle, or do something that changed the world even a little bit. Now all you need is a camera, have an IQ of around 70, say something controversial that you don't believe in, act a full monkey, quite literally, in these people's cases, and boom, you got the same power as these guys did. What a time we're living in. No one should wonder why young men are lost and confused when these scammers are the first in the search results.